Hey, good morning. Tuesday morning. Uh, had good, good sales. We sold five items yesterday and this morning, so that's good. Getting them ready to go out. Show you what we got. Got an old baseball glove here. It's for a left-handed person, so you put it on your right hand, so you can throw left-handed. But it's pretty nice. Sold for twenty-four ninety-nine, I believe. Either that or twenty-nine ninety-nine. Twenty-four ninety-nine, I believe. Anyway, nice one. Well, uh, paid about four or five dollars at a thrift store for. This is a big old Game of Thrones book. I'm trying to get you to see without the without the uh, glare, but uh, bought this at Marshalls on sale. I think we paid like twenty bucks for it. We were hoping to get like fifty because that's what some of them were going for, but ended up I marked it down a couple times and finally sold for thirty-five. So, didn't make a whole lot on that. This is a pair of shorts, like fishing shorts for women. Columbia PFG. Really nice. And my wife's, and she uh, sold them. So, that's one thing you can do just go around your house and pick out stuff you don't want anymore and sell it. I mean, I've been doing that. I still got a lot to go. Instead of having a yard sale, just pick out a few things and list them. Uh, this is like a 1980s vintage. Anything over 20 years is vintage, though. This is a, I think it's in the 80s, flower dress. It's kind of puffy shoulders on it. But we got this in a, in a deal where we bought 100 and some items of clothes from a consignment shop lady. She didn't want to sell them. And then this is three Nike dry fit golf shirts sold for $25. I think we paid like $4 each for them, so that's not a great profit, but you know, probably wouldn't really seek them out unless you can get them for like a dollar each. You know, that would be pretty good, but anyway, kind of a variety of things. One from one from the house, one from the thrift store, or retail arbitrage book. Another thrift store, and this was kind of a private deal. So, good, good day of selling. Hope you guys have a good day. See you later. Bye. Today we have uh, another. It's like a big old giant polka dotted jacket for a woman. Ooh, ooh, I don't know, it's a little dress jacket, I guess. I don't know what a lot of that stuff was called. You know, like when we were listing all these clothes, they were asking all kinds of questions about clothes and skirts. And, what kind of dress it was, what kind of skirt, I don't know any of this stuff. Sometimes I put in a, I don't know, you had to put something in the block. So, that was from that big deal that we got, it's still paying off good, even though it was a pain listing like 100 items of clothing, but these are a pair of my son's shoes, I guess for some reason he didn't like them, who knows, you know how kids are. Never, you know, it don't make sense. <laughs> Their vans, just like the rest of the ones he wears, look like to me, but Anyway, he gave them back to me, and so I sold them for 25 bucks. So I'll probably give them 20 bucks back just to be nice. And then I um, got this bobblehead. You know how it's a bobblehead? I <laughs> hope they don't get mad. I messed up their box, you know, their collector box. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that, but it's too late now. Anyway, some minor league bobblehead. And I had it on there for like 15. I dropped it to 13. Guy offered me $10 for it, so I. I kind of told him, I said, well, I think it's cheap, like it, you know, cheap price now, you know. And I was, I waited about two or three days just to see if he was going to go ahead and buy it anyway, but he didn't. So I sent him, I sent him back the offer of 10 bucks, what he offered, and he took it and we sold it. But he hadn't paid yet, so it's not quite going out yet. So we'll see. That's all there is for this morning. Okay, you guys, see you later. Bye. Yeah, it's another pretty day in Florida. Started off raining this morning, Thursday morning. And uh, the sun's come out. Not really sure what the forecast is, but it's not going to be too bad. I think like 80. But I'm not sure if it's supposed to rain all day or not. Squirrels. Yeah, that's about it. All right, hold on. Swing it around. Hey, good morning, everybody. Thursday morning. Uh, we've got four things going out. One of them from yesterday I mentioned the bobblehead. Um, the guy paid for that, so it'll be going out. If I tell you, here it is. Also, the bobblehead. And got these shoes going out. Domani.
Manny? To Manny? I don't know. Now these things are like in brand new condition. These are one of the best pair I've found. I mean, let's look at them. Don't get those. I would buy them. Except they don't fit. But, and I don't wear dress shoes. <laughs> Very often. Funerals and weddings, right? And, uh, those are going out. I bought those for probably five bucks at Goodwill. And I'm selling them. No, maybe less. Anyway, around five bucks. Selling them for 30. Size 10, I believe. The bobblehead's going out for 10. Plus shipping. And this is something I bought at a, a um, like a liquidation store, but it's a real junky liquidation store. It's kind of famous here in Jacksonville. Sheps. <laughs> you can find a few things to resell in there because they got stuff in there from way back. Um, my dad was wanting some Anison and they stopped making it, I think. So we went there and they had little packs of Anison, like thousands of them. They were, this was probably 2015 and they were marked 2007, uh, 2006 on the expiration. <laughs> they don't get rid of anything there. But anyway, these are some of them, uh, inner tubes for motorcycle tires. Bought, I didn't buy a whole lot of them. I probably bought about eight or 10 of them, different sizes. This is the first one that's sold in a month or so, month, maybe two months. I don't know, but probably, yeah, I can't remember exactly, there's no price on the thing. Probably paid like $3 for them, I think, 3 or $4, and sold it for 15 so it ain't that great. But anyway, that's going out. All the little stuff adds up, that's part of eBay, you know. I mean, it'd be nice if you could just sell $50 items and make 40 on every item, but that's pretty hard to do. This is a weird item, I think. I think this is like a men's, men's shirt. I'm not sure what kind of shirt it is. It's got this thing in the, the seam in the back. Maybe bicycles? I'm not sure, but it's Nike, obviously. It's got polka dots. Kind of weird. But it was a high dollar expensive shirt. Bought it at Burlington Coat Factory. $75 tag on it. If you can see that. Anyway, $75 tag. And I think I paid about 15 and it sold for $40. So that's pretty good retail arbitrage, dude. My new stuff, my retail arbitrage stuff, I've become a little more patient with that stuff. You know, when I first started, of course, I was looking every night because why ain't stuff selling yet? But it just takes time. But if you, if you find good deals on brand new stuff, my opinion is sooner or later that stuff's going to sell and you're going to make get what you want out of it. You may not get top dollar out of it, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I put this on there maybe 40 bucks couple a couple months and um but i thought nobody wanted it. nobody looking at it hardly any views hardly nobody watching it you know but sooner or later somebody's gonna want one and got what i got what i wanted out of it got a decent decent profit out of it so uh, i'm reluctant because it's so hard to find good new stuff that i'm reluctant to mark the price down much on my new tennis shoes and stuff that i've put on there now, I, might, I might mark them down five bucks or something. I'm marking them way down. <laughs> Just waiting. But anyway, that's all for today. Four, four things going out. That's about it. You guys have a good day. Bye. Hey, good morning. Friday morning. We only sold a couple things yesterday. So I'll make it short and sweet, I guess. Hopefully. These some um, retail arbitrage. Brand new. Get these at Academy Sports. They sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, I think I have about $10 probably in them. Something like that or less. I bought them a while back. I bought four pair. I think I have one more pair left to sell. And they actually came with boxes. And I threw the boxes away. Just because they take up more space. They're bulkier. It's more expensive to ship them that way. This way, I wrap them in some bubble wraps. And stick them in a bag. And... Uh, and it'll go out probably these should probably be less than a pound so it'll be pretty cheap maybe four bucks or so and then i got some scrapbook kits uh, there's four of them in here little mini scrapbook kits i guess somebody's looking to entertain their kids a little bit in the shutdown but i got these at a thrift store for i think they're 50 cents a piece so two dollars sold for 13 plus shipping not bad couple make a few bucks today make a few bucks every day that's a good thing um just a 
I guess a warning for when you're first starting out. The first couple months, you just don't seem to sell very much because you're trying to get your numbers up. You know, you got 50 items, 100 items, 150 items, and you're only selling, you know, one thing every couple days. So it can be frustrating, but the more and more you get it up, you know, the higher you get it up, the more things you'll sell and the more often. And I haven't been listing things. I need to get back to listing. I haven't listed hardly anything in a couple weeks. So I got a lot of stuff now to list. I went and bought another load of women's clothes yesterday from our connection on that. She has a consignment shop, so she sold us the stuff that she wasn't selling or, you know, wasn't quite fancy enough for her. So we bought 60 items of clothes for $200, so about $3.50 each, I guess. And some of the dresses will sell for 30 bucks, maybe 35 and some of the other stuff, maybe 15 bucks. So I think it'll average about $20 per item, so that would be uh, 1200 minus cost of goods minus your fees and all that so probably make between six eight hundred dollars off of it It'll take us a year to do it i mean it's a long term like ebay is a long term plan for most things you you it's not like when you put something up on facebook and you sell it in a week you know you're putting it up there and you just kind of once you take the pictures you wrap it in the put it in a ziploc bag stick it in your tub in your storage tub and forget about it until it sells that's that's the game plan pretty much i mean you can go back and adjust prices if your stuff's not getting any looks or watches but pretty much that's how it works you list it and wait <laughs> but if you have enough things listed it'll pay off for you so that's all for now um i haven't been able to find any hardly any kayaks to sell they're selling so fast and you know so much competition people looking for them Somebody puts a nice kayak up at a good price, you got 10 people calling one day. I've had that happen when I'm trying to sell them. So, so it's, it's hard to find a good deal on one and get there for anybody else. But uh, So I have a canoe out there I'm fixing up to sell, make a couple hundred bucks. It was, it was an old fiberglass canoe and I um, spray painted, a, just you know, got regular old Kansas spray paint, spray painted dark green, put a couple new boards in for the seats and sell it. So I bought it for a hundred. I think 100 yeah somewhere around 175 either 75 dollars or 100 and we'll sell for 200 after i do a little work to it so that's what i'm going to do today hopefully because it's friday i'll probably sell on the weekend that seemed to be a, when everybody's out looking for something to do but anyway see you guys later thanks bye